Hey guys, another video on the Pine Phone, and I wanted to talk about some of the benefits of using Ubuntu Touch. I think I said it right this time. I'm I'm trying. I'm at least trying. Ubuntu Touch. I think I got it. All right, somebody was correcting me in the comments a few times. Anyhow, this is Ubuntu Touch at the current moment. It's a really beautiful operating system. There is a great software center here. And at the bottom, it will tell you what it needs access to. For example, this one needs full system permission. Now, most of them don't need that. But I really wanted to run through real quick what you can um, do on Ubuntu Touch. Just because it's, it's a really smooth, great performing operating system. So here I am on my browser now. I'm on the uh, Pine Forum. And looking at that. And everything's working really well. Everything loads fast. Everything is running. The browser scrolling is very smooth compared to other operating systems on the Pine Phone currently. The browser scrolling is definitely the smoothest on Ubuntu Touch. And they have a really nice little way to show if you swipe your finger diagonal real quick, you can move through your apps like this. And then when you're done with one, just throw it up to the top and it'll throw it out. So I'll throw those two out just to show you guys. Now let's check out the camera at current rate. It does work. It's a little slow, but I did see a video from one of the developers that has some really smooth GPU acceleration on the Ubuntu Touch. So I'm sure that'll be coming in the next updates. And I wanted to show you they even have a... You can scroll to the left and it'll let you look through your pictures. So I took a couple pictures just to show you guys the kind of quality it is. Now they're not the most detailed yet, not the most clear, but you're really starting to see what you're taking a picture of. So it's definitely improving big time. In fact, last time I did a video on Ubuntu Touch, there was no working camera. So this is great news, really great news. If you swipe to the right, you can go look over here. Now, one of the cool things about Ubuntu Touch, now it depends on your, your, your motives for it. If you want to use a system as a Linux system, traditional Linux system, full write capability, Ubuntu Touch might not be the one for you. But if you want a more secure system with app armor and system controls like that and a non-writable root file system, then Ubuntu Touch is... A great option for you so there's a ton of great working apps of course I'm gonna show you guys a, another I did a podcast review last time this is a great podcast player here I'm gonna scroll through it for you guys and like I said everything's performing really well on Ubuntu touch today playing a little podcast Apple at the bottom sound works great as you can tell the buttons on the side do, do work. They do, in fact, change the volume. You can turn up and down the volume using the buttons on the side. Not all operating systems can do this at the moment on Pine Phone. Turn to the side. Everything flips and doesn't fail. A couple of the other operating systems, when you try to flip them, sometimes they don't work as well. Ubuntu Touch really aced this part. So I really want to talk about the benefits of Ubuntu Touch because Ubuntu Touch really has a lot going for them. They've been around for a little while, and some of the other apps are going to have time to catch up. Here's the system settings, but Ubuntu Touch is definitely the most usable experience at the moment. So as you can see, you have an option to use Libertine containers, which is a another cool addition in your system settings. You can get started with that. I'm not going to go into that right now. I just want to run through stuff for you guys. So, of course, you can turn your phone into a hotspot. So, another great option. Here's, here's a tip. If you're not sure about the Pine Phone, if you want to get one, but you're not sure if you want to keep it, turn keep your old phone. Keep your current phone. If you have a, a smartphone right now, keep that phone. Turn that phone into a tablet. Use your Pine Phone as the hotspot when you need to use apps on your traditional smartphone. That's a really easy tip. You won't lose any apps that way. You'll have all the same apps and access, but you'll have a really cool addition Linux phone. So I highly suggest trying that. So you can keep your phone, use it as a tablet, the one you have now, 
and get a Pine Phone. And use the Pine Phone as a hotspot when you need to use the other apps when you're not on Wi Fi. And you can still use the cellular service through the Wi Fi hotspot of the Pine Phone. So that's another cool tip I've been doing myself. I've got you know, Proton Mail over here. Proton Mail app works great. You've got media players over there. Like I said, the browser is really performing well. Let's go to YouTube. That's the real test. If you can go to YouTube, then you can do anything. Okay, and I have a podcast playing in the background, so I'm kind of pushing the system right now. But let's just check out this random animal video. So it's able to perform video and the podcast. Let me turn off the podcast so we can really test it out. It's playing smoothly. Let's do some scrolling. Scrolling has been the issue on the other operating systems. And when you're working with videos and scrolling at the same time, that's where you really push the limits. And the browser on Ubuntu Touch and the Ubuntu Touch operating system really handles everything well. It seems to really maximize the hardware in ways that other operating systems need to catch up. But like I said, there's enhancements for security with App Armor. You got containers, you got a non Write it, writable root file system. So these are all things that will protect you if you're using it as a smartphone. Let's check one more app out. This I thought was really cool. It is Stellarium, I believe it's pronounced. And this is neat. You can look at all the different constellations and you can find information on them. You can click on them and if you just tap on them, it'll tell you more information about it. You know, check out all the different stars, the moon, everything else. And it's just a really cool app. And, and you can zoom in, zoom out. It's really performing well. I was really surprised to see this perform so well. And also, I want to show you real fast. On the browser, you can zoom in, zoom out with your two fingers as well now. So that's really nice. So... This is what I got on Ubuntu Touch. I hope you guys like the video. I'm going to keep tracking progress on the Pine Phone and the different operating systems. So please like the video, share it, and subscribe. It really helps us out with the algorithms. And follow on Twitter, TV Privacy, twitter.com slash TV Privacy. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.